everybody video here for you today I want to knock one off my ancient america list talk about some very ancient history coming from florida here i also want to say thanks to the people who sent me some messages regarding this video lost history special mystery of the mommy river in ohio i've gotten some messages from some professional archaeologists also some people with some private collections and i might have a little more to say on this maybe in a week or so but today we are going down to a site in florida kind of near Tallahassee. This is on the Asilla River, kind of in a remote place, swampy area here. This is called the Page Ladson site right down here. It's about 11 kilometers upriver on the Asilla River from the Gulf Coast. It's right down here. This place dates back to about 14, 15,000 years ago. Clovis were not the first people in the place we call the United States today. This time period that we are going to be talking about today, 14, 15,000 years ago, this was a much different world. The coast of Florida was all the way out to about this area here, about 200 kilometers from the present location, right down here. Here's a story from about four years ago. FSU researcher finds clues to early civilization in the southeastern United States. The discovery of stone tools alongside mastodon bones in a Florida river shows that humans settled in the southeastern United States as much as 1,500 years earlier than scientists previously believed, according to a research team led by a Florida State University professor. The site on the Asilla River, about 45 minutes from Tallahassee, is now the oldest known site of human life in the southeastern United States. It, date ba it dates back 14,550 years. This is a big deal, said Florida State University Assistant Professor of Anthropology, Jesse Halligan. There were people here, so how did they live? This has opened up a whole new line of inquiry for us as scientists as we try to understand the settlement of the Americas. There is a cluster of sites all over North America that date to around 13,200 years old, but there are only about five in all of North and South America that are older. They have some pictures on this website here. Here is a look at the area where they are diving and this was a sinkhole way far away from the coast back 14 and a half thousand years ago. The Asilla River was created about 13,000 years ago at the beginning of the Younger Dryas, and then it just kind of went right over this ancient site. So pretty lucky that this place was even found. It says 45 minutes from Tallahassee, the Asilla River, now the oldest known site of human life in the southeastern United States. Jesse Halligan and researchers from Texas A&M and the University of Michigan discovered evidence of human activity dating back 14,550 years. Here's a look, divers excavating the site 30 feet below the surface. Here is a mastodon bone that bared cut marks from a tool in a layer more than 14,000 years old. And this is Jesse Halligan who led the research team here and here are some of the Megafauna bones that were brought up from 30 feet below the surface of the Asilla River here. This website has a short video. I'm just going to play a little bit of it here, get a description of the site here. We just have this one data point that is unambiguous, so we've got to re-examine everything we thought we knew. So it's kind of opened up this whole new world of First American studies. Um, the entire area around Page Ladson right now is a cypress swamp, and so it looks very primitive. And there's gators and snakes, and you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, literally, even though you're about 40 miles from Tallahassee. The site is currently about four miles from the coast, depending on how you count the coast on the Asilla River, but at the time it was occupied, it would have been more than 200 kilometers from the ocean. So this would have been an isolated pond not connected to a modern river system. These deposits along the edge of this pond stayed wet for 15,000 years, I mean, um, more or less constantly, which allowed the organics to preserve in them. I will leave that website below and a few others. Here's another one, Macedon's Magnetism, Pre-Clovis People in the Americas. There are people diving at the site here. Underwater, look at the site. Here are some of the artifacts found. Research started here maybe 40 years ago, but really today it's ramping up and we're getting some real answers to the site, how old they were. New dating techniques and other things has really given us some answers that makes us want to reevaluate everything we knew the first peoples that came to the Americas. Here's an article from the University of Michigan. I guess they teamed with people from Florida State University and Texas A&M to do the research here. But mastodon bones, they did cast some mastodon bones. They were pretty thorough here. 
here is one of the large tusks they found that had evidence of human work done on it. Here's an epoxy cast of a mastodon tusk they did work on here. That diagonal line is a natural fracture, a break in it, but the other lines they think were done by human-made stone knives. They comment on why the tusks were targeted here. It says each tusk of size would have had more than 15 pounds of tender, nutritious tissue in its pulp cavity, and that would have certainly have been of value. Another possible reason to extract a tusk is that ancient humans who lived in the same area are known to have used ivory to make weapons. Tusk roots, like all mammalian tooth roots, are suspended within their socket by a system of fibers called the periodontal ligament. Now appears that people were targeting disruption of this tissue when they cut into the sidewall the tusk socket, leaving the set of transverse grooves, Fisher said. Says Paige Ladson significantly adds to our growing knowledge that people were exploring and settling the Americas between 14 and 15,000 years ago. Archaeological evidence from other sites dating to this time period shows us that people were also adapted to living in Texas, Washington, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and South America. Clearly, people were all over the Americas earlier than we thought. This is certainly a very interesting video to do for my Ancient America series. I have concentrated on this time period. We know little about when did people first come here, or were people always here? Well, I asked that question. But the megafauna here were existing with humans for almost 2,000 years at this site, based on the research completed. It seems about 12,600 years ago, the megafauna, the macedons, they all disappeared just like that. They did a study on fungus found in the layers here, and they can tell when these mastodon were existing 12,600 years ago, roughly. It just disappears. So does that tell, tell us anything about the Younger Dryas event that happened or when it happened and when the megafauna went extinct across the country? It seems in the Northwest, it was a little quicker does that tell us anything? Well, it might. This is certainly an interesting one to look into, but just imagine being down where the present coast is about 15,000 years ago and looking out for about 125 miles where the Gulf is today. And all you see is this totally different world with mammoths and mastodons. The earth changed about 12,000 years ago. You can't deny that. New research is making us reevaluate what we already know. The Clovis, were they the first people or were they just one of many people who came here or were always here? That is something I wonder about, but new research, we are learning more and more in this new time with new dating techniques and other things, new ways to research this. And this was an important find coming from Florida here. That is a video on the Page Ladson site down here, 14, 15,000 years ago. People were occupying this area. Back then, it was not a coastal area. The coast was way out here. The earth changed 13,000 years ago to 11,500 years ago. But what do we really know about the first people of the Americas? Did they cross the Bering Strait up there? Well, certain ideas are being kind of pushed back. New theories are being brought forward. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have. Very safe.